Good morning guys. Here is your tutorial. I didn't like the one online so I decided to make one myself. So hopefully we can get through this. I just made my own. Hopefully yours will look as good as mine room when we get done. But you know we'll see. Uh, I'm trying to help you guys out some. I put some um, pictures online of some of the geometry before we get started. Just to kind of help you out so you don't have to watch me sit here and draw stuff out for five or ten minutes so anyway hopefully that can help you out look at it use it or follow me either way all right enough talking let's get to this all right so go to the application menu click new this is metric standard im.ipt go do it and come back let me know when you're ready all right pause done okay start new sketch xy like always Let's party. Okay, so I got some pictures up here. Um, there will be a little bit of lag on this because whenever I shoot a video, it does this to me quite often. So can't do much about it. So I'm going to load this up on Edmodo or someplace so you can see it. We're going to follow this. If you want to pause what I'm talking about right now and go ahead and do it yourself, go ahead. Just remember, this needs to be a center line. I'll show you how to do it. All right, so here we go. I'm going to flip back and forth because I don't have a paper copy in front of me, so we'll see how this goes too. All right, start off, draw your basic line, start here, go over to 50. All right, let's zoom that out, put that in the middle, there we go. I'm going to highlight this right up here. You see you have some little buttons here. This one is a construction line, this one is a center line. We want this to be center because we're going to revolve it. Boy, doesn't that make sense. All right, line. Keep in line with this right here. I don't care where you start. Just go down. I do believe the first measurement is four. Then make a little angle. I don't care what it is. Ballpark it around 12-ish. There we go. I'm going to look back at my screen here. And then the next one should be 20. So this one you can just directly input. 20. Go down another 12-ish. Try not to use any sort of constraints when you do that. It could make a job a bit more difficult later on. Sorry for the flipping back and forth. Down another 12 and over 80. I did 12. Here comes 80. All right. Up. Another 12. It should line up with the other one if you want to be smart about it. If not, you can do it the bad way care just get it done I believe this is 70 and yeah, 65 I'll change it later and then uh, seven ish and then up your four all right so oops my bad I made the wrong line Go up here, four, done. Okay, let's start to do some dimensioning so this thing is locked in and doesn't look horrible. This one, bring it out, change that to 12. All right, then we need to change your dimension here, this. Make sure you zoom in and grab the line, not the dot, but the line. We're gonna go right here and let me double check. I think it's 60. It is. I should get this by now because I've done this twice. You're doing this for the first time. Yay. All right. So click here. If you go to the left, you'll see SS12. Good. Um, this one right here. I don't think I put this on the sheet, but we're going to make this one 150 also. That will kink that over. This one should be 12, too. That should match 80. If I dimension this, it's probably going to default because I line these up with this one. If it doesn't line up, fix it. All right, so I guess I had 65 here, so I'll change to 65. That's fine. Um, do -do -do -do. Once again, another 150 here. Oops, I neglected the little dimension button. That might help me out some. 50 there we go I can still add one more measurement to here make this seven long 
this is important and that should be good right there all right so i'm going to pause for a minute go do this and then we'll come back and we'll we'll get it going i'll wait a minute okay that was your elevated music for now all right dimension top to here you'll get this little funny looking diameter if you do that's awesome that's what you should get and i believe this is 482 if not that's what it's going to be for right now okay so this is what your object should look like so far go ahead and do this and then we'll come back and we'll do the next step believe it or not this was the easy part hit finish sketch all right so we got a little object right here now yay okay so old-fashioned revolve here going to click all this geometry here axis then we'll go down here we're going to click this see here i have this little clear thing press check mark this is what it should look like so far so do that real quick and then we're going to come back this video will probably be in a couple different parts because it's going to be a little bit long but the video on youtube that was previously posted isn't sorry it is way too quick and i even get lost in it and there's no sound yippee all right so i'm done talking for a minute go thickness no don't go thickness stop sorry fill it we're going to fill all this thing yeah it might just jump this because i paused so i wasn't sure what i was doing hit feature hit the object this will fill this entire object which is kind of cool we're just going to do three press enter and what that does is that fills all my edges down so they're not so sharp okay um next thing is we need to add a thickness to this because right now this is just a wireframe so you click thickness we're going to select this entire object so go oh click quilt that way you don't have to click every single piece and you may miss one click it change this to four that way it's solid and there you go looks like metal now don't it if you like to make it look like an actual chrome rim because that's what it's going to be you go to default and if you go to chrome black that's what the tutorial look a little shiny i'm not sure why this is gray here it just is what it is so but that's fine i really don't care about that if you click the the minus right here you'll notice there's a thing that says solid we're going to use this a lot throughout this tutorial change this to rim all right so do that real quick in a few minutes this will make sense right now it doesn't i know this is new to you but we'll figure this out okay time for the next step we're going to next i had to jump back and forth real quick and i wanted to save time so here we go all right so next thing we want to do is this Whenever my screen catches up to me, go figure out to me things open. All right, so looking at the object here. I'm trying to get, get a good angle for you guys here. It's lagging some of me. Okay, so on this next step, make sure you guys are watching which side this is going to. Because that will make a difference later on. So we're going to click bottom arrow here, go to offset plane. So bottom arrow, offset plane. You're going to click on the origin plus. And I want the one that, oh, oops, wrong button, sorry. We're going to go to um, mid plane between two planes. I got ahead of myself. I'm going to click on the front. I'm going to click on the back. And what that does is it makes one right smack dab here in the middle. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to offset that plane. Click this. Negative 29. That should bring it forward a little bit. All right. Now, to save yourself a little bit of gray here, because I have enough to spread around to all of us, click right here, right click, and hide it. Because I just want to focus on this one right here. Okay. So click this one and go new sketch. So do that and then get back to me here once you get it done. Do, 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 do. Got it? 
Good. Okay. So I want to do what's called slice graphics. We're going to do this quite a bit. And it is the F7 key. What this does is it slices your graphics. Yeah, I know. Hard concept, isn't it? All right. So I'm trying to move my screen up here. There we go. Click circle. We're going to draw a couple circles here. One is going to be 72. We're just going to draw them all right now and then I'll just later. One is going to be 120. One is going to be 140. Alrighty here. Okay, so once you got that done, we're going to go polygon. Okay? Um, this is going to be five, but I want to use this tool instead. And you're going to draw this. Eh, no, wrong one. I want the one with the pointy things on top. There we go. Right to there. All right, now we're going to take this thing right here that you just did. I'm pressing on the control button and I want to hide these things right here. If you can get it, there we go. Make these a construction line because I don't want this to be a part of my actual geometry. This is just kind of helping me out. Okay, and then we're also going to put a little circle with this little construction thing hit. We're going to go right here and we're going to type in 12. This is going to help us out later. Right now, you don't care about this. It's just something that has to be done. <sighs> All right. Press finish sketch. I'm going to get through this. Then it'll be about the end of this set of the video. And then we'll go again. And you make sure you're following me step by step. Okay. Step one, press extrude. We're going to click a new button here, which is called new part. It's right here. I think it's what it's called. All right. So go ahead and click on this. I want you to drag it out. I don't care. If you want to type a number, you know, type in 500 for those of you guys who have to have a number. Press OK. I need to get this geometry back here. I'm going to right click on the sketch and click visibility so I can use it again. And I'm going to click this. It's going to try to go back. I want to move it forward so I can use it one more time. All right. And press OK. All right. This will now show up as these two objects in one. This is shit. Okay. So. I guess I should have done that. Double click this. Click new part and press OK because I want this to be a totally different part to itself. Alright, so you should have rim, solid one, and solid two. Alright, so I want to make these two into one total object. You ready? Here we go. Down arrow on thickness is a combined button. Click on that. Join should be already pre-selected. I'm going to click this. I'm going to click this, which are these two solids. Press OK. They merge into one. Cool, huh? Now, just for visual sake, right click on this and you're going to go down to properties. And I'm going to make this a clear color just so I know it's just going to be geometry used to take things away. So clear green works out great. Let me use this, and we're good. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video, get to this point in time, and we'll go from there. I'll uh, see you on part two. Bye.